Okay, for this video, what I want to do is produce some uh, room renderings, but before I can do that, I need to put some lamps around. So uh, what we're going to do is I want to have some light in this room. I have some light in this space. I have some light in this space, and I think that'll be enough. I'm just going to do like three interior views of some rooms. So I need to fix this bathroom first. So I'm going to go to the ceiling plan of the floor and you can see i already have some studio lights here so i'm going to go into architecture components and i'm going to click on this drop down and i'm going to look for studio lights so i can just type studio right here and i'm going to choose the 120 okay and this is my bathroom right here so i'm just going to put a couple of lights in here i'm going to add another light in this space and another light in this space so uh, what I'm looking at here is I've got a living area, I have a bathroom, and I have a dining room and kitchenette, okay? So that's all I'm going to do there. So I'm going to close that out and hit escape a couple of times. And I already have a few views made, but what I'm going to do is just go through this uh, one more time to show you what this looks like and how to get your rendered images in. So uh, what we're going to do is go up here by this house, and we're going to choose camera, and in this case, I want to zoom in right here and kind of get this bathroom. I'm going to place my camera in this corner and go diagonally across the room. I kind of want to put the toilet in the center of view. And now I need to do some adjustments here. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to kind of pan around the room. I might, it would probably be a good idea to adjust my height and that sort of thing but for the purposes of this video this is going to be fine all right so now i'm going to go to view and we're going to render this view okay one of the things i want to be sure i change because these are interior we're going to always choose medium but in this case i'm going to use interior sun and artificial so i should be able to see the light coming from this window and also the light from the studio lights i've added all right so once i have that done i'm going to click render and we're going to let it do its thing. All right. Now I have my render done. And you can see I've got this, uh, this picture of my pedestal sink and my bathroom and, uh, or the bathtub and the toilet. It would look nicer if I had painted walls and stuff, but this is just for the video. So I'm going to choose Save to Project right here. And I'm going to call this Interior. And it's going to be uh, Bath. So when I'm looking at my list of renderings, I will know which one I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go do one more. So we're gonna close this. We're gonna look at our floor plan again. So let's open that up. No, nope, not the bottom, the floor plan. So here we go. I'm gonna get a rendering across the room from the dining area all the way into the living room. And that's gonna, I'll call it like great room or something like that. So I'm gonna, place my camera kind of here, go across to pointing at that window. I'm going to go all the way through the building so I get exactly what I need. And I really like how that looks. So I can see a lot of what's going on in the house. I might tilt it down a little bit. I'm using the arrow keys. So it's as though you're sitting at the table looking across the room. And so now I'm going to go choose view and render. And we're going to change this to medium. Again, I want this to be an interior. So we're going to in use interior sun and artificial. And then we're going to hit render. We're going to let it do its thing. All right. And in this case, you can see I do have some paint on the walls here. I painted this a different color, and this is a different color gray here. So what I'm going to do is save to project. And we're going to call this interior. And this will be open. Or let's call it the great room, okay? Because it's kind of that open dining room and living area right there. We're going to hit OK. And again, I wanted to I have saved it to my project. So here are the, the ones I just did. And uh, that will be enough for this. All right, so now we have our renders. We're going to close this. I'm going to rename this one uh, to Interior Parlor. 
All right, so now what I want to do is make a sheet that has interior photos or interior, yeah, we'll just do interior details. So we're going to right click here, do a new sheet, and we want to use the B11 by 17, click OK. And I'm going to rename it Interior Views. Rename. I don't change the number. And I'm going to open renderings. This is the folder. And I'm going to just click one and drag it. We'll put the bath in here. And we'll pick the great room right here. And we'll choose the parlor right here. OK. Um, we may have to mess with the settings here, so I'm going to double click this viewport and make it smaller. And what I want to do is instead of 12, I'm going to go 6, okay? And that way we've got that adjusted a little bit. Click off of the viewport and then I think I can delete that and put it back in. And what I might do is make this one a little larger, and that way I've got the bath and the parlor and that sort of thing. So it's just all you have to do on this is just get some interior shots of your house and then drop them in here. Okay? Um, that is it on that. Okay. Enough on this.